Hey, what's going on guys? First take up here. So I have a question that I'm going to answer for you guys. As you've seen from the title, the question is, should you buy the Technos Pack 5? The Technos Pack 5 is that device that I've been using for the past one month plus as my backup device. I use it mainly for social media and phone calls and it has been great for that purpose. As we all know, Techno is this brand that has devices for almost everybody. So I see this Pack 5 to be that device that caters for aspiring youths who want a decent smartphone that can fit into their daily lifestyle without breaking the bank. It doesn't necessarily need to have the latest and greatest, but it should be able to tick all the entry level boxes like taking decent photographs where you can upload on social media platforms. You should be able to handle your basic social media applications effectively. You should be able to handle your basic tasks with ease. Example, phone calls, emailing, and browsing the web. You should also be able to play some light games and above all, the battery life should be excellent. And I find this Pack 5 to be that device that ticks all those entry level boxes. But now the question is, can I recommend it? Let's find out. But before that, if you haven't already, please kindly hit on that subscribe button down below to join this awesome family and be sure to turn on your post notifications so you get alerted whenever I upload a new video. And I'll also be giving the Technos Pack 5 away to one lucky subscriber. So you make sure you watch this video till the end to find out how to enter into the giveaway. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the video. Okay, now let's talk about the display. So the Technos Pack 5 comes with a 6.6 inch HD plus display. In this type of device, you do not expect to see a 1080p display the 720p display is decent enough and it is good for consuming media content. One of the downside though is that you are limited to 720p resolution when watching YouTube videos. Outside that the display is decent and I find it to be bright enough for a mild sunny day. So if you are not convinced yet, be rest assured that the display on this device is decent enough. Okay, so moving on to performance, again this is not a powerhouse. The Technos Pack 5 can be a little laggy most of the time, which is expected especially when you consider the type of chipset it comes with and the small amount of memory it comes with. It is a 2GB of RAM paired with Helio A22 CPU which is a low-end CPU from MediaTek. For daily tasks like web browsing, emailing, phone calls, social media apps and some light gaming, the Technos Pack 5 performs very well which I believe that is the original intended purpose for this device. Okay, so on the storage side, it comes with a 32GB of internal storage, which I find to be decent for a backup device. And moreover, you can also expand it with an external SD card, so there shouldn't be any complaint there, alright? Okay, so moving on to the camera aspect, the Technos Pack 5 comes with four cameras behind. If you want to know more in-depth about this device, I've made a detailed review about it so you can browse the channel and check it out. Okay, so the Technos Pack 5 takes good images that works best for social media platform and sharing among friends and family. The images are decent enough when the lighting condition is good. Selfie is not its strong selling point, but it gets the job done. Speaking of selling points, the Technos Pack 5 selling point is the huge 5000mAh battery the device comes with. All this Pack 5 lineup this year comes with a 5000mAh battery including the Pro version and trust me, it is excellent. On moderate use, it can last for 2 days on a single charge and that I find to be more than enough for anybody who wants a decent smartphone at this price point, period. So now let's draw attention to things that I do not like about the Technos Pack 5. Okay, so it is understandable that this Pack 5 comes with some Bluetooth, but what I do not understand or what I do not like is the fact that whenever a new software comes, it introduces a new Bluetooth, which I feel it will be a huge turn off to some people. So ever since I got the device, I've received up to about 4 software updates and whenever this software update comes, it introduces a new Bluetooth which can be a huge turn off to some people, all right? But other than that, this Pack 5 is decent, especially when you consider the price you're paying for this. So now the question is, can I recommend this device? It is a yes if you want to use it as your backup device. And if this is your first time of getting a smartphone, or like I said earlier on, it is for youngsters who want something that will fit into their lifestyle. And above all, it offers the best battery life in this price bracket. Okay, so back to the giveaway. I'll be giving away this pack 5 to one lucky subscriber. Yeah, so all you need to do is subscribe to this channel, 
it's very important and make sure you follow me on instagram in two weeks time i'm going to announce the winner on instagram so you make sure you go follow me on instagram if you want to enter into this giveaway all right so that's been it for today like share and subscribe and thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you in my next video bye bye